I got this email from this guy from Sweden, a guy called John, John from Sweden. And, um, you know, I get a lot of emails and I try to answer as many as I can, right? Um, some of you who have sent emails and I have yet to respond, please forgive me. You know, I'll get around to it. It's, I get a lot, okay? But I got this email from John from Sweden and it was really quite extraordinary because he touched upon some things that really made me want to do videos about them. And so because of John from Sweden, I'm going to be doing not only today's post, but also Thursday's post about his email. Okay? Okay, so let's get started. You know, Leonardo DiCaprio gets a lot of shit, you know? He gets a lot of shit because, uh, you know, he, he only dates young women, right? Uh, the son of a bitch is like 44, 45 right now. And yeah, back when he was in his 20s, it was no big deal that he was dating girls who were 20, 22 or whatever. But as the years pass, his girls stay the same age. Check out this graph. I originally posted this on my Instagram. Uh, the link is in the description below. Instagram is the only other social media platform that I use, so I'd encourage you to follow me there. Anyway, as you can see, you know, he gets older year by year, and his girlfriends, they stay in that age between 20 and 25. Yeah, every single one. They hit 25, and he just next some, you know? Uh, on to the next girl, on to the next supermodel. And they're all of a type, you know? They're, they're like tall, thin, blonde. Uh, much like my type, too. <laughs> now, of course, Leonardo DiCaprio is a famous movie star, right? And so he can basically fuck any woman he wants. But he fucks exclusively girls between 20 and 25. Why do you think that is? Do you think that that's just out of the blue? Do you think that he has some sort of fetish? No! Men and women have age preferences. This graph, as you can see, is the age preferences that women have. Now, this data comes from OkCupid, okay right? They took all the information they had of the different people who were on the site, you know, men and women, and they checked out what, what age preference do women have. And as you can see, this chart goes from age, women's age 20 to 50. And as you can see, when they are in their 20s, they prefer men to be, you know, three to one years older than they are, two years older. And then when they hit like 30, they want them to be more or less the same age. And after 32, they prefer them a little bit younger, but just slightly younger, like a year, maybe two years younger. It's only when they hit like 46 that they want a man who is substantially younger, younger, you know, relatively speaking, because a woman who's 46, right? What kind of man does she want? She wants a man who's 38. A, man, a woman who's uh, 48 wants a man who's 40. A woman who's 50 wants a guy who's 46. Whereas a young woman who's 20, she wants a guy who's 23. Now, you, you see, so there's sort of like a correlation. The older the woman, the older the man that she prefers. Mm. But what happens with men? What the fuck you think happens with men? They like them younger. Check out this graph. This is the exact same graph of men's age preferences. Men from the age of 20 to 50, they consistently want women between the ages of 20 and 22. I mean, rock solid all across the age brackets. It's only when a man is 43 that he prefers a woman who is 23. And there's this odd outlier when a, woman, when a man is 45, he prefers women on average who are 24. That's a 21 year age difference, right? But right after that, it's 20, 20, 23, 20, 22. Yeah, that's what guys like. They consistently like women in the age range of 20 to 24 as a maximum. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, because you see, John from Sweden, right? He's 38, according to his email, and he is dating a girl who's 18. Now, 18 is, of course, you know, age of consent. She's an adult. She can do whatever the fuck she wants, right? And uh, the problem he's having is that a lot of people are giving him shit about it, right? That he's 37 and she's 18. And worst of all, you know, apparently she's hot, <laughs> right? So he's getting a lot of grief about it. Huh. I understand this kind of grief that he's getting. Oh yeah, because I get a lot of it, to tell you the truth. Yeah, because I refuse to date any girl over the age of 25. Fuck yeah. 
Why would I bother? I did a whole video about it. You can find it right here. It's one of my most popular videos. Because the thing is, see, I prefer women who are younger. Why? Because they are more sexually attractive. Yeah, I find them more attractive and more to the point. You see, I can get them. That's the key issue. And this is where the whole issue of envy comes into play. They're gonna say that you're creepy for dating a younger girl, that your girl has daddy issues. Uh, they're gonna call her all kinds of things, but insofar as you're concerned, they're gonna say that you're creepy, that you have issues, that you can't handle a mature woman, that you are you know, a psychological, emotional, mental midget or some shit like that. Oh yeah, you're gonna go get all kinds of crap about you. Yeah, just because you're dating a younger girl. Never mind the girl. Oh yeah, the girl you're dating, she's gonna be called, well, first of all, if she's young, we're gonna assume that she's okay in attractiveness. Even if she's not that attractive, the fact that she's young makes her sexually attractive. Because after all, see, what makes a woman sexually attractive is her age. If she's 20 and she's not that good looking, she's automatically gonna be sexier than a woman who's 40 and, and beautiful. I mean, compare, like, say, Cindy Crawford, who's like, I think that she's like 50, right? A very beautiful woman, but she can't hold a candle to, you know, some tubby little 18-year-old. Yeah, because the 18-year-old might be tubby, but she's in the bloom of her sexual attractiveness precisely because she's young. That's the thing. A man's sexual attractiveness comes from his gravitas, his self-confidence, his position in the world, okay? Uh, you compare a guy who's a millionaire and ugly and a guy of the same age who's really attractive but doesn't have a pot to piss in, and women, all women of all ages, are automatically and instinctively going to find the ugly rich guy more attractive, more sexually attractive, because it goes to women's sexual drive. They are interested in a man who can provide for them and, more importantly, for their offspring. This is hardwired into women. And so, of course, they're going to find a rich guy sexier than a poor guy. Of course. And, of course, by the same token, men are going to find a young woman sexually more interesting than a gorgeous older woman, a gorgeous mature woman. Oh yeah, and so here comes the issue of envy. See, if a man is talking shit about you because you're dating some 21, 23 year old hottie, right? and calls you creepy and blah, 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 creepy or a cradle robber or some shit like that, right? What's going on is just envy because he can't get that kind of woman. I mean, he wants that kind of woman, see? Because like I showed you in the charts, all men want young women, all of them, <laughs> respective of their age. Guys between the ages of 20 and 50, they all consistently want a girl who's 20, 21, maybe 22, right? And so if a guy is talking shit about you dating a girl who's 20 and you're 40, it's because they know that they can't get that girl. And, and yeah, it's just envy and they are shit talking you. And uh, you know, they're gonna say all kinds of shit about you. Yeah, all kinds of shit, true or not. And they're gonna speculate about you and say that you're this, that, the other. I mean, all kinds of negative shit. I mean, it's gonna be like creepy and, and you know, he can't handle a mature woman. All kinds of crap, okay? Now, if it's a woman, though, that's something else. Yeah, see, if you're dating a 20-year-old and you're 40, you know, right? Some woman who sees this, let's say that she's 30 years old, just for the sake of argument. She sees this and she is going to shit talk you and the girl you're with for the obvious reason that she recognizes in her bones that she is no longer as sexually attractive as when she was 20 and she's going to be resentful of it. And she's gonna be resentful of that fact, and she's also gonna be envious. Because you see, a girl who's 20 and dating you, you're 40, say, right? Uh, what's gonna be going on here? Well, you know, that 20-year-old girl, she's gonna be fucking you because she finds you interesting somehow. She finds you, you know, uh, sexually attractive. And so what does that signal to the woman who's 30? The, the, the woman who's watching this situation. Well, it signals that the guy who's 40 and dating this 20-year-old girl, right, that he's got a lot of qualities that she would want, right? Because a girl who's 20 
at the peak of her sexual attractiveness latches on to this 40-year-old guy, that means that that girl who's 20 who can have any guy and pick the 40-year-old, pick to you, well, then you must have something, a lot of qualities that the woman who's 30 and doesn't have you wishes she had. Wishes she had either you or wishes that her own mate had those qualities. Oh yeah, because you see, who you are fucking is a social signifier, okay? Now, if you are fucking some real ugly, ass ugly, tubby, short, bottom of the barrel chick, right? What does that signal to the world? Well, it signals that that's the best you could do. Yeah, that's what it signals, right? And if you're dating some 21-year-old hottie, what does that signal? It signals that you have options, that you as a man have what it takes to attract a woman at the peak of her sexual attractiveness, right? That means that you know, it, it's signaling that you've got the goods, right? And so a woman who's 30, right, past her prime, and, and perhaps she's not that attractive, and she, she starts shitting on you or shitting on the girl that you're with, well, it's because she recognizes that she cannot get you. She cannot get you, and she cannot get a man like you, and maybe she's with a man already, but see, it'll signal that you have qualities that her man not only does not possess, but will never possess. You see? She's realizing the, the shitty situation she's in, and she's just stewing in her envy. These uh, 30, 30 something, 40, 40 something women who are just shit talking you because you're dating some hot young thing. Oh man, I mean, they go out of their way. They, they freak the fuck out. Yeah, I've seen it because it's happened to me. It's fucking funny, right? They say that the girl you're with, um, you know, they'll even try to say that she's ugly, which is kind of weird, right? Uh, because, you know, beauty is sort of objective, right? And see, if you're 40 and you can swing a 20-year-old girl, right, you're not going to be dating an ugly 21-year-old girl, right? Right, you're going to be dating a hot one. So anyway, they'll, they'll try to say that she's ugly. They'll certainly say that she's a gold digger. They'll say that she's a bimbo. They'll say that she's a whore, a hooker. I mean, like a literal hooker. They'll say, oh yeah, it can't be that he's dating this girl. She must be a whore, right? Yeah, they'll say all kinds of shit out of envy, out of resentment. And they'll go on and on and on about this. And here's the key issue. The more that 30-year-old, 40-year-old, 50-year-old woman uh, uh, shit talks you, the more it's symptomatic of how unhappy she is with her choice of mates. The fact that her man is just not comparable to you. But that's the issue. It's envy. Now, how do you fight envy? Simple answer, you don't fight envy. See, because there's nothing to be gained by fighting envy, and there's no way to fight it, see? See, because uh, the, the men and the women who are envious of you because you're banging some 20-year-old hottie, right? They're gonna say shit about you, or shit about the girl that you're with, right? Now, they're gonna say that you are cringy, that you are bad, all kinds of shit like that, and they'll say that she's a whore, or she's stupid, or whatever, right? Now, in order to combat those allegations, you have to say, no, she's not a whore. No, I'm not cringy, right? That is, you're trying to prove a negative. And of course, you can't prove a negative. You know, this is uh, logic 101 here. A negative can never be proven, right? So if you're trying to fight out of, uh, fight against these allegations that she's a, uh, you know, a, a gold digging bimbo whore and you're a cringy, nasty, creepy guy, right? You can't fight these things. So don't bother. Yeah, don't bother. I mean, like you're, you're fucking a 21, 22 year old. I mean, John, John from Sweden, who's uh, reading this or watching this rather, you know, don't bother. You know, they say shit about you, ignore it, you know? L let them stew in their envy. Uh, let them stew in their envy, and you, uh, you enjoy stewing your dick in 20-year-old pussy, huh? Yeah, simple as that.